The Pearson product moment correlation coefficient is a measure of the strength and direction of association that exists between two variables measured on at least an interval scale. Here are some examples where two variables can be paired so that you can check their correlation. Total number of years of school completed and average annual salary. Number of class meetings missed by college students and their average scores in the course. The person's age and the probability that he or she wears glasses or contact lenses. The height of adults and the amount of money they earn relative to their co-workers. I have for you here the assumptions that you need to check before performing the test. First, your two variables should be measured at the interval or ratio level, i.e., continuous. Second, there is a linear relationship between your two variables. Third, there should be no significant outliers. And fourth, your variables should be approximately normally distributed. To interpret the correlation coefficient, you need to consider both the sign and the magnitude of the value. The sign tells you the direction of the relationship. A positive correlation means that as the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable tends to increase as well. A negative correlation means that as the value of one variable increases, the value of the other variable tends to decrease. The magnitude of the correlation coefficient tells you the strength of the relationship. The closer the correlation coefficient is to 1 or minus 1, the stronger the relationship. A correlation coefficient of 0.5 or minus 0.5 indicates a moderate relationship, while a correlation coefficient of 0.3 or minus 0.3 indicates a weak relationship. Here's the usual rule of thumb for determining the strength of the relationship based on the coefficient. Let's give an example. An agent for a residential real estate company in a large city would like to test if the monthly rental cost for apartments is correlated with the size of an apartment, as defined by square footage. The agent selects a sample of 25 apartments in a particular residential neighborhood and gathers the following data. The null hypothesis states that there is no significant correlation between the size of an apartment and the monthly rental. Here's the data set in Jamovi. The first column represents the monthly rent in pesos. The second column shows the size of the apartment in square feet. Both of these variables are ratio level so the first assumption is satisfied. To test the normality, go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives. Transfer the two variables in the Variables box and look for the Shapiro-Wilk option in the Statistics panel. Note that if the p-value of the Shapiro-Wilk test is greater than the significance level, usually 0.05, the data is normal. Here, the two p-values, 0.263 and 0.132, respectively, are greater than 0.05, so the distribution of the data set in each variable is normal. To check the possible linear relationship between the variables, plot the data. Go to Analyses, Exploration, and Scatter Plot. Place the independent variable in the x-axis and the dependent variable in the y-axis. In case the assignment of the variable does not matter in your test, you can set it up in different ways. There seems to be a positive linear relationship between the variables because of its increasing trend. You can include the regression line to observe its pattern further. Assuming we don't have outliers for this test, we can now compute the coefficient and test our hypothesis. Go to Analyses, Regression, and Correlation Matrix. Transfer the two variables to the box on the right. You may also choose to flag significant correlations to identify significant coefficients quickly.
In the results table, the coefficient is 0 0.85. This tells us that there is a very strong positive relationship between the two variables, and this is significant because the p-value is less than the level of significance. You can identify the significance level through the asterisk. Here, three asterisks mean it's significant at 1%. You can also compute the correlation coefficients of multiple variables simultaneously. We will use the pre-installed data library of Jamovi. If you learn from this video, please like, share, and subscribe. You can also check the description below for other math content in my channel.